Hello, everyone. It's been quite a while. Uh, we're here in the Play Agricola tournament number 11, round three, and just starting off game one right here. I'm in seat one relative lead. After me is Montu, after that is Fiskist, and then Joshi is rounding out our foursome. Looking at this first pack of cards, we're, we're ready to launch into this thing. So the forest clearer is very strong. It's like a woodcutter and berry picker combined if you take two or four wood. It's a woodcutter if you take three wood, and there's no effect if you take any no other number of wood. Uh, catcher is terrible. Wool grower we've seen before. It holds sheep depending on the number of feeding phases completed. Uh, stock protector is okay. That's a, a new card that was not playtested but thrown in the B deck anyway. Uh, so this this tournament is for playtesting this J3 deck, which will become the next expansion for the revised edition of Agricola, the Corbarius deck, the C deck. Um, and our feedback and the power stats will be helpful to do a final balancing on these cards before they get published. So here is Inner District's director. Each time you take three wood or one clay, place a stone on the other one from the general supply and immediately place another person. Uh, this agricultural laborer gives you up to seven clay if you obtain grain up to seven times after playing it. That's interesting. And this nest builder, when you live in clay or stone, you can pay a grain into food so that this card provides room for a person. That's pretty nice. So forest clear is the best card here. I'm going to take it. Um, stock protectors, good. It's like a lasso if you go on fencing instead of one of the animal spots and you get two wood before your fencing action, so it's pretty nice. On the rebound, uh, stock protector, next builder, are probably going to get taken. Wool grower is okay. Stable architect, there are a couple combos for it, but kind of hard to make work. Also streaming this game, uh, Montu. You can find his channel uh, twitch.tv slash gamermontu. I do not have Twitch chat up quite yet. Let me get that set. And... Uh, one sec. Not looking at Montu's stream, only looking at my own. Let's set my here. I guess I'll keep an eye on the Twitch chat in case anybody wants to say hi. In general, the, the J3 playtest cards are not super strong. They're relatively versatile. Uh, there's some stuff that seems really good but is really hard to pull off and seems not too useful but is very useful. Here, uh, this card, there, this guy's in the White Hats card, there's no way it's making publishing. This is the same thing as a state worker in the B deck. It's literally the same card. Um, Lieutenant General's nice. Um, open Air Farmer's fun. I'm not sure if we had that in the J2 B deck testing or not. But you kill three stables, so you'll never be able to place those stables again, but you get to build a 2 by one pasture for two wood immediately. Uh, so it's kind of like a turkey breeder from the France deck. Um, uh, pet broker is basically wool grower, but instead of uh, completed feeding phases, it's the uh, number of ox you have played, so that's kind of funny. You have two sheep holding occupations. The lodger, of course, lets you... Uh, hold a family member without having a room yet, very strong. Uh, the soldier is something I've messed around with and completely failed. 
with. Uh, during scoring, you get a bonus point for each pair of stone and wood in your supply. You can't score additional points with these resources, such as for the joinery. It's hard to have extra resources at the end of the game. Like, even when you build, like, the Basket Maker's Workshop or something, you don't always get the bonus points for having extra of the resources. Uh, so, Soldier seems really fun. Like, why not end the game with 9 wood and 9 stone and get 9 points? But it's pretty wasteful. Like, the, the 9 wood could be 4 stables for 4 points, and then the 9 stone you can usually spend for 5 or 6 points. So... Nine points for that instead of five or, or instead of like ten or eleven saves an action. Not that great of a trade in the end. I think I'm gonna take Lodger, even though it doesn't go super well with the Forest Clearer. I don't want the open air farmer in case I build a lot of wood things. Lieutenant General's nice, just because I mean you get food and grain when people plow around you. Leg worker, really interesting new card here. Every time Oh, I'm thinking of Night Worker, not Leg Worker. This one, not so interesting. Uh, yeah, it's like a necklace France deck miner, but better. You get a wood instead if you place adjacent to your existing person. So, I would assume these four are taken. Pasture Master? Yeah, that doesn't seem very exciting. Pet Broker is probably on the rebound. If we're lucky, it's Lieutenant General. Okay, interesting stuff here. So, House Steward, you know, race for the most rooms. Uh, I was going to say, in general, a reminder to myself and anyone watching, that in the revised edition, there is less plowing available. So, um... Um, so when you see things that help you plow, you should rate those up compared to how you usually, uh, do it. Uh, there's a combo here. This lumberjack combos very well with the open air farmer, the one that lets you build a two by one pasture immediately. You know, you play your open air farmer round one, then you play lumberjack round two, and you basically have a wood collector plus one because it, Oh, or plus two, you immediately get a wood, and then place a wood on each of the next rounds up to the number of fences you have. Bohemian gives you a food if at least one Ock is unoccupied. Food distributor, what is this? When you play, you get a grain, and at the start of the returning home, you get food equal to the number of occupied actions, the actions of rounds 1 to 14. Interesting. The source of grain, I guess. Um, I think I want to be the one in control of House Steward. Forest Clearer definitely gives me a leg up. I haven't seen any other room discounts so far. Lumberjack, I don't need to defend from the person who took Open Air Farmer yet. It's going to be a relatively woody game because of Open Air Farmer and Lumberjack and Forest Clearer. When you play this card, you immediately get one wood. After each work phase, if you have more stone than clay, you get a wood. So it could go off uh, if you just refuse to end around with clay. Um, cooperative Plower, I, I was saying about taking Plow Help, but this one needs the green spot to be occupied. So yeah, the Pickus House Steward, Lumberjack, Informant, Food Distributor might be useful. The Truffle Searcher, I mean, now we have all the occupations that hold animals. Oh boy. What is this one? Timber Shingle Maker, when you renovate to stone... You can place wood in your rooms for a bonus point. Interesting. Seems okay. This animal lover, I think, is pretty strong. You don't get points for pastures and fenced stables, but instead your points for sheep, boar, and cow are doubled. So in the comments, I think the consensus has been that uh, you don't get points means you automatically get zero points for those. 
Um, and I think it usually ends up being three or four positive, which is a really good awk. Uh, this could have been a really strong pack. Sewing Director. Every time another player uses so bake, you get so. Oh, I had this once. It was pretty good. I was just sewing really randomly. Animal Lover is the pick. Sequestrator, you just never want to think about. Uh, peasant, at the start of the final harvest, if you have at most one field tile, you get five green and two veggies. Do bad things, get good things. Okay, so the inner district's director did come back. Somebody took the stock protector. So do I want this inner districts? Okay, we're not doing that. Pay green to get boar. I haven't had a green income thing yet. Yeah, I think I take this inner districts director. It could be good for like uh, somebody sets up six wood for themselves. You can be like, nope, six wood, and I'm growing. Uh, don't need the wool grower. So I have some good cards here, but they don't really sync up super well. Someone took the open air farmer. Uh, thanks, Play Agricola. That's WSE, I assume. Yeah, so I think I have good cards, but like I said, they don't really synchronize well. If I have Animal Lover, you know, just try to make space for a bunch of different animals. Uh, it could be something like eight spaces closed off with stables in two one-by-ones, and then you can hold four of one type, five another, and twelve of another type. Um, missing out on five points from the pastures and stables, but hopefully you have uh, three, two, three for your animal points, like four sheep, four cows, five pigs. That's something that happens a fair amount of the time. That would make it a plus three card. Uh, animal lover would be three free points there. Uh, this game I'll try to do a better job of uh, showing the cards that are being played uh, in like a zoomed in version. I've heard from a few people that sometimes it's hard to see that. So we have not solved plows or crops. And people are going to have ways to hold animals early. Kind of interesting. The open air farmer comes back. Lieutenant general comes back. Lieutenant general is only giving rewards for other players plowing next to their existing fields. There is a minor improvement in the playtest version with the uh, playtest deck that says you can plow anywhere, it doesn't have to be next to an existing field, so that's like a, that'd be funny if it happens. I like Lieutenant General, I like Open Air Farmer, we already have some early ox to play, so I think Lieutenant General is definitely more likely to be used. I'm already hitting, capping my point ceiling on stables, I don't need to... get crazy about hmm. Hmm. even pet broker isn't bad here really bugs me is that I don't have any crop support yet. 
And with Lodger, I think I might be able to do some... some fun things, like fencing early, because I'm going to be taking a lot of wood with the forest clear. Okay. Cooperative flower, I think, is the play. Could go bohemian. It'll hit for a food often, but I'm going to be playing a lot of ox, so... I'll take cooperative flower on a whim. And let's see what we get here. So, the new card, only one of them here, uh, Farmstead. On your turn each time you turn at least one unused farmer's space used, you get a food. Okay, so it's like a mini hill farmer, kind of. Uh, Reed Belt is the best card here. It was in the previous playtext and was very strong, so the cost got increased to two food. Place one Reed on rounds 5, 8, 10, and 12 for two food. Uh, given that I have this forest clear and a house steward, it makes a lot of sense, too. There is early reno support in this minor reno company, but there wasn't really anything crazy. Milking place is the house goat, but now costs a grain, so it's bad. Shifting cultivation, it's the field miner. I expect this will get played in this game um, without seeing anything else yet. Uh, Reed belt is definitely the pick. Family-friendly home is intriguing. If I didn't have this lodger already, which is doing the opposite effect, this house steward, it, like, with the forest clear, it, this could be a very useful card for me this game. But we've seen that card before, of course. I don't know if it's been played in a streamed game of mine, but if you build a fourth room while having two people, you'll get a family growth action and a food. No minor. Still really haven't solved crops. The Lieutenant General will be good for a grain or two in the last round. Fun thing about the Lieutenant General is that if somebody, say, uses the swing plow in the last round, it gives us two or three grain from just one use of the swing plow. Because this effect triggers for each field tile. Not for each plow action. So round one plan, play Forest Clearer, take two wood. That would be great from the one seat. Uh, not be afraid to play House Steward. Play Reed Belt. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat the value of Reed Belt. Uh, it would be really funny if we found a Toad somewhere, but uh, it's the Toad is such a good card, I expect it to be gone. Okay. The new card here is the Elephant Grass Incineration Plant. Uh, it only says Elephant Grass because the Create a Card ran out of space. Uh, immediately after each harvest, you can turn a reed into a point. Costs two clay and a stone. Uh, when it was sent to play Agricola, it was two points per reed, and everybody was like, yeah, this is too strong. So right now it's one point, and it's probably too weak. I probably should not cost a stone or something like that. Uh, mining Hammer, very good card. Uh, it costs a wood, you get a food immediately, and you get a stable each time you renovate. The baseboards could be useful, except the cost is kind of annoying. You get a wood per room, and if you have more rooms than people, you get an additional wood. If, you, if I'm playing family-friendly home, then baseboards goes very well for that. Game trade is good. Uh, it trades too cheap for a pig and a cow. Somebody's going to like that. I don't think it's me. Chicken coop. You know, it's the chicken coop. Very good. Solid. Just need to make sure I have enough reed to play it. Um, asparagus knife does vegetable games. Hod gives clay immediately in when somebody takes a boar. Walking boots, also known as murder boots. You immediately get two food and place a person from your supply like they are a guest. And then in the next returning home phase, you must remove that person from play, meaning you can never grow to five people when you play the walking boots. Uh, as I said, the pick is chicken coop. Uh, the murder boots could be okay. Probably not for us playing the house steward. 
Mining Hammer, Baseboards, Game Trade are all fine coming back. The Hod might have a use. Elephant Grass, I don't really want to be throwing Reed away here. Okay, this one's not a new card. This is the Gypsy's Croc. It now costs one clay less. They're going to reprint it that way. Make it a bit simpler. Cooking improvement, uh, so it needs to have the bowl sign. Uh, you get an additional food when you do two at once. Uh, basket Chair. When you play this card, you can immediately move the first person you placed in the work phase to the card. If you do, immediately afterward, you can place another person. I think if you try to take someone away from family growth, the newborn still has to be there, so I don't think it. you can double up on growth. Uh, but it is a read for a point. Uh, this food basket is good for aids, a, re a read for a grain and a veg. You do need this 2 oc 2 imp prereq, but everybody has that by the end of the game. The potato ridger, we've seen before, it's the shaving horse for vegetables. Store of experience, you get a building resource and it's a passing miner. This clay pipe gives you food at the end of each work phase where you gain seven resources. And the best imp here is the woodwork shop. Costs a clay, needs a knock. Each time before you play or build an improvement, you get a wood, so it applies to majors and minors. I will be taking that one. Food basket, very tempting, but it costs reed, which I need, and won't be played immediately, whereas this wood workshop I could find a very quick use for, like if I take two clay round one because somebody took the two wood. Once you have four rooms, your house can hold five people. It needs two majors. Writing chamber is one of my favorites, actually. Uh, I contributed to fixing this already. Uh, it costs two wood, no prereq. During scoring, you get bonus points equal to the total negatives you have to a maximum of three. So begging cards, missing categories, negative points on cards, I think it all works. Uh, when this card was given to play Agricola, that value was 7. So there are a couple mechanics in Revise that force begging cards on you, and there's currently no mechanic to get rid of those begging cards. So the writing chamber, if it was 7, would let you do two beggars, miss another category, and be completely made up for all that, which was, I thought, crazy strong. I think I'm still taking writing chamber, but what is this? Slurry? If you get two newborns, you also get a sew in the breeding phase. Feeding dish, you get green if you take animals you already have. Uh, this Lagrasse fountain is the sheep well. Uh, depending on how many sheep you have, it gives food on that many rounds. Good, good for someone in this game. My pick is writing chamber. There's just too many ways having negative points could be useful or the flexibility to not worry about it. Like if I just never get a vegetable I'm fine. It does counter combo this animal lover because animal lover will reduce my pastures and stables to zero no matter what. I might just not play animal lover. It might not be the great game for that. Uh, note to myself, I need a cooking hearth. I do like to mix up my food strategies and like go baking a lot, but it does not look like there is any support for that. It's going to be interesting what I had decided on doing in this game. Let's see if Family Friendly Home pops up in this rebound, because I might just not play Lodger.
Yeah, and just use Lodger as an escape valve if things get really messy. But with House Steward and Family Friendly Home, it's hard, and a Reed Belt, it's like hard to see where I wouldn't want Family Friendly Home to just, you know, build a bunch of rooms, grow, like especially if it's a mid-game or late-game growth, then it could be really explosive. Family Friendly Home does not come back. I would expect Joshi took it. Maybe he has some room discount. He did see House Steward. Fiscus is the other one who saw House Steward, so he might have taken it too. Okay. Nobody took Renovation Company. There isn't much support for it, as I was saying. Stable. It's, it's whatever. It's okay. Uh, shifting Cultivation has to be the pick. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be a bit short on food, possibly. The murder boots don't really fit my plan. The baseboards do. If I build two rooms and then play this on a first family growth, that would be pretty nice. This game trade, I mean, I'm not really the one holding a bunch of sheep. I think I have to take baseboards. That's now three minor improvements that cost two food? That doesn't make any sense. But, you know, it's a miner that gives a lot of wood. So I really need to figure out the food. Uh, first fireplace and pile of sheep would be great, but, you know, the person with uh, the, the sheep holding card, pet broker, you get a sheep and can hold a sheep up to number of ox you have, that person, or it's the open-air farmer, uh, which I passed him on to. He's seen that open air farmer lumberjack combo before. Uh, it's very possible he took that. So the first pile of sheep is going to be hotly contested. I'm feeling a bit of a food bind, even if I take a bunch of wood with forest clear and play that chicken coop early. I really need that cooking hearth then to get food stuff going. And that just makes Gypsy's Croc here even more sensible. Because uh, I don't have any way to get veggies to make Potato Ridge or give me food. So this is what we're rolling with. We have three miners with a clay cost. Hate to see that. Taking clay is usually, you know, tough. Alright, so let's pray to get this forest clear out round one. We have some miners to play. Uh, if we have to take three wood and go SP reed belt, that would be okay. Um, not great. Because we might SP into forest clear two wood. No, that seems pretty wasteful. Just because if the typical five round two actions come out, then... You might as well take the three wood if it's there. There's no point in ignoring two reed or an ock. Or reed stone food. Second ock would be house steward or something. Should be an interesting start. Uh, very dependent on the initial seating order. At least for me. You know... Some, like, I had a game the other day where I got Reedstone food in the fourth seat. You never know what people are going to do, uh, or what they need, so. This hand is kind of unfortunate. I feel like there's a bunch of good stuff here that doesn't go together at all. Especially all that food cost. Can I collect all the animals? Can I have enough food for a big family? Am I playing lodger and or house steward? Am I playing I'm definitely playing forest clearer. Inner district director could have a place. Lieutenant general is a mid late game card. So much I don't know what this game is gonna look like. Especially a couple of these Oc packs, like um Montu's pack 
Fiscus pack were both pretty good if I'm getting House Steward and Animal Lover, third, fourth. So, it, uh, yeah, I, I hope we don't get Field Watchman bombed or something, that would suck. Uh, I guess if Field Watchman comes out round one, I think about Lieutenant General coming out first. Uh, and then Cooperative Plower, just because, you know, if somebody's on green, I can plow for two fields instead of one. Uh, it could get kind of weird out here with a Field Watchman. At least I'm ready to counter a Field Watchman. Uh, so that's kind of fun. I want, I mean, I feel like everybody's going to be ready for a big house game. And I have this, like, terrible feeling that Fiscus or Joshi has the axe. We shall see what happens. <laughs> Eat my vegetables. <laughs> yeah, uh, what vegetables? I think I'll be writing chambering that point away. I am in fourth. Sheep flipped early. It, we might see some fireworks here. No telling what people will play. Could see a pet broker early, could see the open-air farmer. I'm probably getting three wood and SP uh, reed belt, I guess. I mean, perfect scenario, forest clearer, two wood. It's just not happening. Montu opens the game. It looks like he's going for reedstone food. Sure enough, he does. Fiscus and Joshi are in the normal occupation spots, though you could just take three wood. Uh, there's plenty of fine reasons to do that. Fiscus going outskirts director. So I have the inner districts director. This is the outskirts director. The outskirts director says every time you take one of these spots, this wood spot, this clay spot, you place two reed from the general supply on the other space. If you do, you can immediately place another person. So it's possible that I might see uh, a three wood, one food, two reed grab at some point. Um, I think I've seen Fiscus play this before. And if memory serves, he was pretty liberal about throwing reed into the game. So that's a great sign for me with the house steward and a bunch of wood. But, and a bunch of wood in the game, but I need to be very cognizant that everybody else knows this too, and make sure I get enough wood by the end of the game. Uh, such as like playing baseboards, spending clay on the chicken coop instead of uh, wood. Both important. Joshy looks like he's playing an awk here, says think. Um, whatever it is, it is. The great thing about going forth, you don't have to think about what you're doing. You're just kind of, you know, forced into it. I might take day labor uh, last, move, last move. Joshi playing informant here. Gets a wood when he plays it, and if he has more stone than clay, he gets a wood. So that is a sign that he'll very possibly take, be taking start player into read stone food and not really taking clay, just to get a wood every round. So that is what I would expect, is that I don't get start player. Immediately place another person by putting two read on the other spot. Okay. Montu going for the wood, even with sheep round one, because of all the the stealing abilities here. Makes sense to me. Fiscus, uh, this is usually two clay, but you could see a start player, you could see a plow. Two clay would be great. Two clay or daylabes looks very po probable for me. Uh, daylabes. Um, because taking a grain isn't really what I need, and, uh, food, as I've mentioned, could be tight for me, even with, you know, sheep brown one, taking a lot of wood. Joshi does indeed start player here. Uh, he could do something neat and, like, is there a passing miner that gives him a stone here? I don't remember. 
He plays Farmstead. I don't recognize this, so it's a new one. Oh, it's the it's the mini hill farmer. And as I said, I will hit the daylades and go second next round. Joshi is going to take Reedstone food. I'll play my uh, forest clearer. Um, yeah. So Fences came second, Fiscus has the two clay, I wonder who has the open air farmer, who has the, uh, okay, it's not that good, it's good, but it's like not that good. Monty taking two read. Um, first room not really in the cards as currently showing. Fisk is taking three wood. Uh, I'm looking at two wood being fine for me. Joshi likely playing an Ock here. We'll see if it's like open air farmer. No, it can't be because I saw that come back to me and Oh, that's also a strong card. This is a new one, the basket carry you pay to food in the harvest and get wood reed grain. Hmm. Uh-huh. So I mean Montu's probably taking the other two wood. I don't expect to start player, unless he has, like, Canvas Sack, which is a new one. That'd be really good for him. Um, I better just be safe. Yeah, I mean, when Basket Carrier got sent to the site, this was like, you can do this every round. And players here are good. I mean, that's just a lot of free stuff. There was all, there's also an Auk here that lets you turn Reed into two food every round, so you would just, like, cycle a two food to buy wood Reed grain, cycle a Reed back, get basically a wood and a grain every round for free, which is obviously stupid strong. So we'll see if Fiscus yanks start player back. Montu didn't play a minor, so he definitely doesn't have canvas sack. Also, it would have had to have been his first pick. Um, I mean, start player is kind of like the only decent move unless you want to plow. He goes fishing. Interesting. Okay, round three is so big. Joshi takes Reedstone food. I think I take four clay for sure. Then start player wood workshop? Build a fireplace? Oh, there's the open air farmer, yep. Yeah. Okay. Scratch that. Probably just take more wood <laughs> or play reed belt or something. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, perfect opening to have the open air farmer. Sheep early, major late. And 
yeah, unless Fiscus plays the pet broker here, there's nothing you can do. Uh, you know, Fiscus might be thinking, let me play that pet broker. Hey, he's got an knock already. He'd be taking two of the sheep this round, maybe. Uh, but Fiscus takes three wood. Joshi, I would expect three food here. Yeah, leaving me the opportunity to play an oc or uh, or take two wood plus wood food. Or do that start player that I've been meaning to do. I better do start player. I'm less crazy about needing that reed belt out right now because Fiskist's uh, director might be placing six reed into the game or something like that. So instead of building fireplace, I'll be taking either five wood and a food or two reed or reed stone food with my first action next round. So, I mean, if those are all available, then reedstone food, two reed, four wood, and both ox would be open, and I'd get two of them if I wanted. Um, and start player also. So we'll see what these other players do about securing room parts. If I were Montu, I might just be willing to take the sheep here. But we shall see. Um, I'm going to need another decent clay grab just to get all my imps out. The chicken coop, the gypsy's crock, and a cooking hearth. Um, and then renovate. So, I mean, I've unfortunately a lot of clay to take. Um, and I'd much rather be taking wood and reed and food. My food management has been good so far. Um... Next round, I probably just want to bite the bullet and take two reed over reedstone food just to have that first room locked down. Uh, Montu's not going to have that first room. Uh, he could play Lumberjack here and then take sheep and daylaves with next round. That would be a fine set of three moves for him. Uh, lumberjack for seven wood and... Yeah, get the sheep breeding, get a bunch of them, take clay later and build a fireplace or hearth. Um, you know, we'll see what he's thinking here. If it were me, I'd probably play Lumberjack, but, uh, no telling if he even has that in his hand. Okay, Montu's taking the day labor now, so he has flexibility next round when the spaces are better. Sure. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have an opportunity to take, uh, five wood and a food, and then slam that lodger down. That would be kind of mean. Um, oh, Montu is going ahead and playing the lumberjack. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, WC, I really don't know when you type those emojis, unfortunately, but it sounds like uh, you're having a good time there. Um, hello to my four viewers now. Live. Uh, so, yeah, seven wood, definitely a good awk to play in round three. Uh, Fiscus's move will possibly determine what I do. If he takes two wood here, then I'm going uh, two reed. If he doesn't, then, well, I have decisions to make, but it looks like he's just taking those two wood, giving me the clear to have first room if I want it, and I probably do. Uh, Reedstone food is just a bit slow at this point. Uh, growing is good, of course. I mean, I don't want to get... I don't want to risk anything, necessarily. Um, it does give... Well, no, Montu, as I've said. He knows what to do. He's taking his sheep. He's going to day labor fishing. He's going to be fine. Fiskist. Probably takes reedstone food here.
Ah, okay. Yep. Sure, he takes two wood, two reed, two clay with his two moves, which... Yeah. Good enough. Um... Okay, so... I'm going to be able to build next round. Hmm. Do I build this fireplace now? Do I just take four clay? Do I take four wood? Do I play house steward? Because time is running out. Do I start player reed belt into reed stone food? So many options. Uh, if I start player reed belt, I have to room. But it is the safest. Could just play the gypsy's croc. I'm gonna get this out. Screw the early food. I'm gonna die. Uh, five, eight. 10, 12. Okay. Montu does day laborer. He's going to have five wood next round. Joshi probably takes three wood here, so nobody gets six. It would be uh, Montu in line to take six. Uh, we'll see if Josh, he had other ideas, which is very possible. He did get Reedstone food three times, yikes. As predicted, there's a lot of wood in this game. Montu threw in 11 with his two occupations, and is not building three stables. Uh, I mean, he can only build one. So uh, that caps off the wood that he can spend in this game. Um, Fiscus has added two reed already, Joshi has added two wood from his informant, and there's family growth. So actually, I can build the chicken coop. On my family growth. which is going to be great. We'll see if Montu start players so that he can build next round. Very likely. I am unlikely to play the Lodger. Uh, the family-friendly home miner, not so useful anymore with early growth. And this uh, growing immediately is going to give me time to figure out my food, which is uh, actually pretty clutch here. We'll see if Montu has uh, hesitations on starting, which is very possible right now. Taking some time. I'm sure he's thinking about taking clay and building an implement. <laughs> yeah, Montu, I don't know if you're just talking along here.
Yeah, so it's going to be fun to watch the, the game from Monty's perspective afterwards. Uh, so this round we're playing three games, this being game one. Game two, I expect, is going to be like next Monday night, and game three next Thursday night a week from now. We'll see if anybody wants a different time. Um, Montu does go for the clay. And it makes me want to play Lodger. Fiskist is going to jump on that opportunity to take start. Uh, ooh. With a harvest house. You get food grain veg when you pay wood clay reed, and you have a number of ox equal to the number of finished harvests. So he will need a reed with his next action. Um, I mean, if Montu or Joshua don't take reed stone food, he just gets it there. That's probably a good risk. And if he takes one reed, it's not the end of the world, just because the payout for Harvest House is so nice. Joshua does take the reed stone food. Interesting. He's got a lot of stone there. Costing to clay, a reed, and getting a wood. And we're putting a bunch of food out for us. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. More or less right on time, too. Um, yeah. That reed belt did turn out pretty useful. Next round, uh, take a bunch of wood. I think, because we're going to see Fiscus build. Uh, we're going to see Fiscus take a read here, or make one cleverly. He is going to build next round. Joshi will start player, possibly with an axe. Very possibly with an axe. And... Uh, then uh, I'll have six wood. Because Montu is building a fireplace here. So I'm going to get six wood, uh, four food if I'm lucky, and then four wood plus wood food if I'm lucky. Fiscus does go and take that one read. If you need a read, you take a read. I, I think it's actually okay. Like I was saying, just because Harvest House is so nice. Uh, we'll see if I can weasel my win way into the growth queue again um, with with Montu not attacking it. That fireplace is so useful for him. Easy to see why he might not. Uh, Joshi, uh, three wood defense. Yeah, okay, so I don't get six wood. Uh, I might take four food first and then go for uh, the four woods later on just because they're all worrying about growing and I'm already grown. Uh, the first time I might be able to get four wood on a rebound Because Fiscus is building and growing, Joshi is starting and something, Montu uh, is taking resources twice, I believe. I could also take four clay at some point. The options are wide open, obviously. Joshi playing a mining hammer on start player, so, I mean, that's good news. He doesn't have the axe. We can go ahead and play this house steward later and try to win it with, like, five rooms. I can't get risky here with the food. I just need to take that poor food. Worry about... Well, that would give me six for this harvest and give, buy me some time in getting this cookery. No point risking when my food situation is already a bit tedious. Or not tedious, tenuous. More emojis in the chat. Thank you, William. Monty takes four wood, uh, plus his fifth was from the round. The lumberjack. Reed stone food, four wood. That was be great. Couple of moves for me. Uh, we'll see if I get them. I think it's unlikely. Fiscus probably takes reed stone food here. Uh, sets up a clay oven. That seems reasonable. Um, 
Joshy could take the three food. I don't really know what else he'd be doing. Yeah, he needs to have his uh, basket carrier working. Oh, Fiscus is growing. Dirt. Ooh, and he's using the green for the house goat. Okay. I think having that early grain is better sown, but to each their own. Viscus probably has another way of getting grain later. We'll see if Josh takes four wood here. I would. It's that or three food. Hopefully I put a bit of pressure on that food. But never sure. Yeah. Definitely a think spot. With three actions behind him, and him already kind of locking himself into build grow. He could buy Basket Maker's Workshop here. Basket Maker's Workshop, it seems like a good play. Um, but he kind of needs four food to get it all done. You know, he does take that three food traveling players. So I want to set up because I'm likely getting the six wood unless Monty takes three. If he does, that's fine. I'll take six clay. And a reed stone food. But for now, let's take that plus a wood food. And start building our food supply for stage three, which uh, could get nasty if I'm not careful about it. I do really want that cooking hearth still. Joshy taking a wood for round seven on the informant. Montu going redstone food. So maybe I take the four clay, get six wood hearth X next round. That seems fine. I could play a knock. That four clay is too valuable. Uh, it gives me enough for the cooking hearth and a gypsy's crock. And every improvement I build gives me a wood, so pretty nice. Joshy in a good spot with his stone. A late stone game. He's gotten four of the six reedstone foods. Um, I would really expect Montu to take start, or the two reader, I guess, equivalent to blocking a room steal. Yeah, I got no stone. We'll see if anybody falls into a soldier trap. That would be kind of funny. Joshi builds a stable. A little suspicious. Um, it doesn't really affect me, but I think it, uh, in a tournament, just might as well wait it out for, uh, for a final decision. Fine for now. Well,
Come on, two going with the family friendly home. Okay. Uh. Yeah, because the word already. Okay. Let's see if I can get the hearth and two reed. Fiscus going for a reedstone food. He's in a food bind also, actually. Um. I need to get this hearth going. Joshy playing a slurry on his growth. Uh, just a free miner that might have a use maybe later. Uh, this is not my wood. I'm, I'm nabbing this cooking hearth for sure. Oh, Joshi did get enough food for feeding and basket. Okay, and now my feeding looks a lot less suspect. Uh, did you take Reedstone food, Monty? That sounds familiar, but I don't remember it. Uh, when did you... Uh, actually, no, it sounds right for him to have reedstone food. Um... He was on zero food starting round five. Clay fireplace. Four wood. Feed stone food. Round six. Oh. Montu playing the cottager, which will let him build rooms or renovate on the daylabe spot. Okay, oh, and I'm getting the sheep. If I want them. I should just take them. So that's good for Montu because he can activate family friendly home on day labor. Uh, also clears up the growth queue even more. Joshi's growing first next round. Um, Montu is building building. Not really sure what Fiscus is up to. Uh, I better just take these. I don't get the Gypsy's Croc bonus. It's okay. Hurt. Yeah, so four wood, three reed, reedstone food are all going to be okay for me. Uh, this coming round is the last round to house steward for three wood. After that, it becomes two. I could just consider fencing here. Fiscus is going to plow. Oh, he has the milking place. He doesn't even need the... Okay. So yeah, Montu will build one room there and then Cottager for another and get a growth and three food. And if I play House Steward, I really want to be trying for five rooms just to be a bit safer. Uh, I've somehow taken all the clay I need and spent 
7 on improvements. So things have gone okay so far. Uh, you know, Montu's going to build build so you can grow. No comment, William. Um, and he builds a stable too. Sure, why not? Um, can hold two board that way. Fiscus. This is the move I wasn't really able to predict. It could be four wood. Yeah. I mean, big pile of wood. It means I don't really think about taking it. Uh, oh, and four clay with two reed. Sure. Seems like a good move. Uh, yeah, I have to say, Fiscus is using that uh, director well. If you can lasso the resources, uh, the lasso, the, the double place on resources and get two reed, you know, yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, you don't want to be giving the resources to someone else. That's all bad news if you do that. So Joshi grows. I'm going to get my three reed along with the reed uh, coming in from the reed belt. Um, think about house steward. Think about the three plus one wood. Think about playing Lieutenant General, because uh, Fiskist is uh, starting to plow here. Joshy thinking about not growing. Because Montu might just take the food. No. Uh, okay. And I think... Joshi, uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to take my three read. I'm thinking about house stewarding. Yeah, so Montu's getting three food and a growth action by building a room on day labor. I could just be doing Basket Maker's Workshop, Joshy. Because Family Friendly Home gives a food along with the family growth. Could do two ox here. Let's see if Fiscus takes a green. Joshi is going to need some food. I don't know if he's planning on doing, like, stone oven? Clay oven, even? I should think about fencing. I can fence 14 because I'm animal loving, so I mean, I could just fence three pastures. 
uh, Fiscus takes a green. Josh, he's going to take one of the ovens here. Or the well. The well would be a bit of a surprise. I would say clay oven and then well next round is more likely. Yeah, because he wants to have more uh, stone than clay at the end of round so he can keep collecting that wood. Uh, so I could start for six wood again. Um... Start player, Gypsy's Croc, Ock, Six Wood next round. What do you mean, actually? Turning off the informant. But yeah, getting the food he needs. Both seem reasonable. So... <laughs> Do as you like, Joshi. Do as you like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, 5F, not 4. Uh, so, i uh, going to surprise everyone and take start player with the Gypsy's Croco, which gives me a wood. Uh, and then play an Auk. Is this the house steward? Is that a lieutenant general? Yeah, let's go for it. Whee! All the woods are belong to me. Not every game you have 25 wood, but that's still enough to fence and build two rooms. So that's kind of fun. Um, Fiscus is going to build my rooms. How's that? Monty grabs the three stone. Sure, he can get the well and grow. That seems like a fine round for him. Uh, I want those piggies. I don't know what he says by Fiscus is going to build my rooms. He needs five food. He needs to build that hearth and... Yeah. So, I want defenses and rooms. Hmm... I have, like, really taken a lot of wood from this game. Um, by having 25 right now. Uh, yeah, it, it's good to be in control of that wood economy. It really gives an edge for the rest of the game. So I do need to find the food. Um, Fiscus start player hod, so it'll get clay when people take pigs. Like right now when I do. Then he'll reno hearth and take sheep and eat a veg yeah he's in he's in some food struggles montu's not doing too great either uh i'm gonna take two pigs um keep the pressure on food and wood yeah joshy people are hungry that's what happens when people are hungry um
Josh is going to plow, so Lieutenant General has one more round before like it really starts hitting well. But I want to be taking those plows too. Uh, do I think about cooperative plower? Because if I'm ahead on actions, well, Joshi and Montu are actually ahead on actions with me. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to take the two pigs. Uh, I'm going to... Joshi, Joshi, come on, make up your mind. Uh... Okay, I'm going to eat uh, two pigs for seven, or... Yeah, I'll just eat two pigs for seven. Get some value out of that gypsy's crock. And then uh, two rooms next round? No, this round, because Viscus to start. Um... Yeah, and he's thinking about renovating, not um, not building a wood room. So Montu might take the two sheep here and then grow. Um, if there's one thing I'm lacking right now, it's um, card and bonus points. I think I will get the house steward. Joshy might fight for it, but I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm just chilling with 25 wood. Don't mind me. I might FG baseboards for <laughs> 6 wood. Montu buying the pottery is really going to make Fiscus uh, in a little bind. Not a huge bind, because he's going to reno hearth anyway. Yeah, this is breaking well for me. Joshi, we have yet to see what his game is based on. I mean, he's going to possibly buy the well here and be in a good spot uh card point wise, but his farm is a bit behind on development. Um, I'm already ready to fence, I just need a couple actions, which I'm going to be getting soon. So hopefully my growing is not too late and I can figure out everything in time. Joshi gets his plow now. And... I'll build two rooms or 14 fences. Better do two rooms. I can be blocked on that. Um, yeah, that's fine. And feet six. Montu with the Loam Pit, which is just the Clay Pit. It costs a food now, but a uh, really good card. And he has now more reason to go on uh, Day Laborer. Fisk is grabbing the sheep, so he'll kill two sheep, eat a veg, have two food left over after milking place. But yeah, those, those Harvest House crops didn't really go to useful places. I mean, the milking place is okay, but just really expensive. Um, let's see, I'm going to be growing next round, even if someone builds, I'll be okay. Joshi taking the grain, so he's going to sow bake. Seems relatively efficient, and be able to basket carry again. If I were in his position, I would think about buying Basket Maker's Workshop before buying well. But not, oh well. Montu bought pottery, so he's not really in line to... Okay, he's taking a veggie instead, which makes sense because he's basket carrying grain every round. So with writing chamber, I could just ignore an empty space and 
a veggie or two empty spaces in a veggie and I'll be fine. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm excited for this growth baseboards. I don't really need to take any more wood, which is fun. Uh, I do want a fence. If I can be the one fencing this, this round, that would be pretty strong. The four clay is good. Uh, I'm going to need five, but there's no way I'm getting six with all these actions on the board. Four food is an interesting thought, just to put pressure on. Lieutenant General is interesting, because everybody's going to need the plows, and I'm going to be playing field soon on my next family growth, not this one. I'm not playing Inner Districts Director. I'm probably not playing co Cooperative Flower. Ooh, the Food Distributor. Gets a grain now, and as many action spaces that are occupied, he'll get food for. I think next round might be a slightly better time to play it, just because stuff like the Sobake and the Reno are more likely to be surely taking like two stone, two sheep, two pigs. A lot more likely to be taken next round than this round, so maybe missing a bit of efficiency there, unless Fiscus needs two ox for something, yeah, that's always possible. Okay, so Joshi takes the clay, he wants to Reno well. Um, I get my start of round goodies. Uh, so I can fence it up now. That's the safe play. I'm going to grow with my last action, and then I don't really want to spend two food on the ox. So I could plow now. I could take four food. I could take a redstone food. I could take a veg. I'm just going to fence now and be safe. Where'd my 25 wood go? So next round, two pigs, two sheep would be amazing. Likelihood is not high. Ooh. Montu playing high sleeper, so he can have a fifth person, so I gotta grow now. That's fine. I'll take my seven wood. What am I even doing with that wood? Build joinery? I guess. Yeah, I guess I build joinery because, like, I don't need stables. I don't have to play Animal Lover. Um, it is looking pretty suspicious that I'm not. I do still think there's time for me to do writing chamber. Okay, Fisk is taking a boar. 3 F, uh, three food, 2 clay spot, not terrible. Joshy thinking about plowing. Uh, he says he gets a food from something. Oh, from ending a turn by filling a space? Sure. I am growing. I am playing this beautiful card. Yeah, and I haven't really been relying on the forest clear to take all this wood. 
Like, I, I don't know, there's just so much wood in this game. That impression was certainly correct. Uh, so Montu's growing next round. I'm not. I want to take this for food. Um, I want to get two stone and build joinery. I want to take three clay next round, so I can just take two whenever to renovate. Oh, I need a lot of stone. I really need to be on that stone so I can get a stone house. Really, uh, a big flaw in my game sometimes is that I don't get enough house and people points, even if I get a pretty farm, so... I'll be going for that. I should think about giving up on Animal Lover and just building stables, just because animals don't seem to be too plentiful with uh, me putting people into somewhat of a food issue. Not a huge one, but a little one. Joshy thinking about building a room. Lots of wood. Lots of wood this game. There it is. That's room number five for Joshy. Not his plan, sure. Um, for food. There's just nothing better. No traveling players or fishing card. Now Joshi is short of clay for renovating. Yeah, that's so interesting. I think that, well, we'll see if the stretch pays off, but I, my money is on no. And uh, I'm doing fine with these, all these actions on the board. I, I'm still having stuff to do. Montu taking wood. So I want three clay, two stone, two sheep. Plow? Next round? That's an okay round. So two sheep. Don't eat any so I can eat two at once with the croc. This chicken coop's been nice too. So two sheep, two stone, three clay in that order, though getting three clay might not happen. She's thinking of doing here. Could build clay oven. He could, uh, build fireplace. Can't build BMW. Yeah, that 5 wood 2 read is really expensive for him. Really, really expensive for him. My hope is that, uh, it definitely took him off his game plan, but yet to be seen what the final result is. So next round we're looking at Montu growing. Fisk is taking six wood if Montu doesn't take three. Uh, and Joshi possibly taking start player. I could take start player. Um, Joshi going Reedstone food so he can get a wood next round with his informant. Makes sense. Uh, Montu three wood or veggie or four food. Um... Or two food, three clay on daily for sure, why not? Yeah, because I mean, that's basically four food if you have the pottery. Montu does grow. Fiscus will likely take six wood. Joshi will, uh, I have no freaking clue 
how this round is going to go after that. But my first goal is two sheep. My second goal is uh, two stone for joinery, either this round or next round. I don't think joinery is contested because the other three players still need some fences. Uh, yeah, well, that's your fault, Joshy. Uh, for food, I forgot to check. So, game log for last round. We have fences, bore, grow, sew bake. Okay, so looking towards the end game, still don't have fields. That writing chamber, let's go. Um, okay. That writing chamber is gonna plug up some negative spots. Is what it's gonna do. So, two sheep, three clay, two stone joinery, that's a fine round. I do want to think about plowing. I do have that uh, start player field. That would be pretty nice in round 13. Just, you know, take a veggie, start player with that, plow sow it the next round, chill out. Um... Yeah, where's the wood, Joshy? What are you doing? Clay and stone is getting really tight right now, and it's kind of uncomfortable. Montu, that, that loam pit coming in handy. Uh, we'll see if he can get his um, his clay pipe this round. That'd be really nice. So you'd need four and then go to the loam pit. So Joshy is going to plow and take a food. I'm going to get my chicken coop food here and take two sheep. And get that breeding. I'm going to want two cows next round, and or two pigs. So three clay, two stone, joinery, five food, those are all fine. We'll see if you take start player. I don't care enough to take it. Um, uh, whenever I grow last, I grow last. I'm going to play writing chamber on that last growth, save the field for start player in round 13. Monta takes reedstone food, so that's two resources towards the clay pipe. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's a, that's a clay supports. Okay. <laughs> uh, plot twist. Three clay, two stone joinery, yeah. Well, on the bright side, that means two cows are more likely to come to me. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, and you didn't see house steward, so.
yeah, that, that's just too bad to have to pass place supports or loam pit when you have Cottager already. Yeah, I agree. Kind of uh, an impossible choice there. Didn't see how Stewart. Um, Josh, you said an okay spot. Uh, if I were in his shoes, I'd probably take Grain, go for Sobake, and, um, well, I mean, honestly, five food right here is good. The, the food is an issue, or the wood is an issue. The wood is a huge issue for him. Play is a huge issue for me. Oh, man. Sure, I mean, you can take the two play. So that means I just go for the stone now. I could take the food, but I think I want better chances of the animals coming back. So I'm going to take that two stone, play joinery. Think about taking four clay as my... No, I... Am I ever going to get this clay? Because if I take two cows with my first move and want to take two pigs right after that, it's going to be real tough to try to get all that going. Okay, Montu looks like he's taking the reed. If he does, that'll be five resources so far this round, and then he can day labor, renovate, and get his clay pipe as well. So that seems like a good thing for him to do. He won't get a major minor if he renovates on Cottager, but, you know, that's that's fine. He could also do reno baseboards and get the clay pipe food, but he already has one wood short of max fences, so I'm not sure how much he wants that. Fiscus formally gets his fifth rune. It's no longer a uh, probable. He's not going for more than that, so that's a good sign. I could still try to nab it. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So I'll see what Joshi does here. Uh, I might take five food. I might just build the joinery outright. Those are probably my last two actions. Five food is just good. I mean... Joshy going basket maker's workshop. Makes sense with his basket carrier. Doesn't work with his um, uh, informant for wood. So I can't do joinery anymore. That's cool. Guess I'll take food. And uh, do reno joinery. I might just take two clay. Over a green or a veg. Montu has to be a little sad about the BMW being taken, given that, I mean, he took the three read. Um, I don't think the three read's a bad play. He can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he can still, like, Cottager, so build the fifth room that way. And still use all that read. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's see what Joshy does here. I would think two wood. What do I do here? Two clay or a veg? Two clay plays it a bit safe. Um, one, two... I better take that. 
freaking two clay. That's disappointing. I can take veg later, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to be locked out of renovating. That would be really bad. Okay, and I'm feeding eight breeding. Right, so Fiscus is going to take Growth and or Plauso, or, or Plauso. Joshi will take the other one. I'm going to take two cows. Uh, so let's actually do what we said we would. And that's the point on Gypsy's Croc. Family growth comes out. Okay. So Fiscus is taking the normal family growth, it looks like. With a stable. Joshi could take four wood, he could take growth without room. I'm taking the cows. That's almost certain. Because this animal lover is going to be points for me, especially if I can just get that joinery down. There's no way Josh is blocking the joinery. That would be... Uh, I mean, how can you give up on building all, uh, like, fences that way? Like, he should just be thinking about four wood right now. And there's pretty much no reason to expect anything else. Yeah, forward or growth. Or the cows. Sure, but where are you putting them? Okay, so... Do I take the boars, then? Yeah. Uh, Fiscus gets to both growths. Yeah, sure. Um, I can just grow Riding Chamber my last move. I'm not super worried that I'll be, like, out of things to do. I should have enough things to do. Monty grabbing the four wood here, which makes... I don't know, he's, if he's just fencing... The three stone looks good. Plow, as I said, I'm kind of, like, uh, lagging behind on. If I just... Yeah, if I take one cow the rest of the game and let my pigs breed once and my sheep breed twice, then I'll have six animal points, and that would... make Animal Lover a plus six minus three card. Seems fine. Uh, Fiscus did not grow. No, I'm not going to remind about his hot clay. That screws over my house steward as nice as that would be for me to do. Um... realized that Montu did take four wood, so he could grab the joinery here. But he plows, okay. That's fine with me. I better buy that joinery. Or the well. How are both available right now? Fisk is grabbing start, which hints that he'll do plow, so he, he notices Hod. 
Oh, yeah, and a food basket. He's for sure doing plow sow. Um, which means I have to be careful about this shifting cultivation for a start player first move next round. Josh, he could very well take it. We'll see if he renos right now with what. Will it answer why he took two cows? And why hasn't he taken any wood? Big questions. Yeah, it, it is uh, think time for sure. I really need to get my house better. Oh, I like this one a lot. Return a clay oven, get five food. Every time you, before you bake, you can build an oven. And it's a three-point upgrade on the clay oven for just two clay. Yep. Good card. Yeah, and it makes sense to buy the clay one if you have that one in hand. Okay, so where was I? I'm buying well or joinery... Joiner is more points for me, but well is more points for pretty much everyone else. Um, oh. Do I take two clay here just to make renovating easier later? I have to really consider it. A veg is also good, so I don't get blocked on my SP action if Joshi doesn't take SP. I mean, when you get down to the wire, things are always... They need to be tight. Things always need to be tight. I mean, Montu's probably considering two clay also, because that just lets him build a room. Loam Pit gives you three clay when you day labor, and same timing for Cottager. So there's no conflict. If Loam Pit gave you the clay after you took day labor, then Cottager's effect would have to take place before the Loam Pit, so you wouldn't have been able to use, like in that hypothetical world where the wording was different, you wouldn't be able to use uh, Loam Pit to build a room or renovate, but... Because the timing is the same, you can choose the order, so that's why you can use the loam pit clay to renovate or build a room. Uh, Joshi now gets his three wood. Monty fenced eight. Oh, you know what? He probably has. Is the peasant that gives him five grain and two veg if he ends with one field. Interesting that he didn't build that last fence, just as it was interesting that I didn't. Um, the two plays a much better play. Next round, start player, joinery, 
or clay, reno joinery, veg, that would be perfect. to taking his two food three clay. Okay, I believe pipe. Okay, so me and Fiscus will take the growth spots this round. I don't have to. Okay, Joshi is plowing. Oh, Montu could just take joinery here, but if he does that, I just do staples and forget animal lover. Yeah. Clay and joinery is like really important for me. Not super convinced I'm getting it. Monty taking redstone food here. He's going to day labor room and reno. What's Fiscus doing? Joshi, I would think, is taking wood. Sewing is also on the menu for him. Fiscus is grabbing two sheep. Okay. Man, it really sucks to have to take two clay three times. Thanks, Noob Sauce. Go me. I think I'm looking okay here. All that bottom feeding turned out to be really useful. This Gypsy's Croc... useful. Uh, I just hope I have enough bonus points. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... Like, I, my farm's going to look okay, but never really sure what's going to happen in the end on um, bonus points. I'm not going to get locked out of anything. I'm going to play Reno Joinery with my next action, because Monty's building a room here. It's all okay. Um, so that part of my game didn't get screwed. I want to take a veggie with my last action this round. 
and or play Lieutenant General for, like, a green? Why would I do that when I could just take a green? Uh, yeah, I mean, lots to be determined still. Discus grows with the sheep well. Uh, veggie is better for me than growing, because I can just grow last action next round with the writing chamber and be totally fine if I take a veg. Uh, Montu can renovate, so I should right now. Joshi cannot, I think, because he would need a reed. Yeah. Rashi's got enough points if he can fence out. Um, but I'm starting to get the bonus points. and You know, I could even build a room. I could think about building a wood room. No, that costs too many actions. I'd be one read short of renovating and a lot of other things, so... Nope. I have this animal lover ready to go. Joshi, Joshi really waiting out those wood. Really sensing that nobody else needs it. Yeah, this renovate is like a 10 point action for me because And this wood workshop has been great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the passing miner. It's been one clay for seven wood. Uh, definitely happy that I've been able to have all this wood and pretty much spend it. Because I spent 15 on rooms, 14 on fences. That's 29. Um... Three on improvements, 32. Going to be two more for 34. Yeah. Uh, and then I want to veg instead of grow. So that'll save me a bit of food and set up the plow so perfectly. And then my writing chamber... If things break right, no, because hmm. I wonder if Monty takes a cow, a lone cow. That would make a lot of sense for him, I think, because then he'd be able to take two boar or plow, whichever he chooses. Um, let's see what Joshi does. He's only at six wood. He's looking at Renault Fence next round. He'll get a seventh wood off his informant. An eighth wood from his basket carrier. So if he takes three, he'll be at 11. Which is enough to, like, fence big and just cover all those spaces. If he takes three wood, two wood, then he gets to fence 13. Um, thinking of taking a veg would just be really silly. I just take a cow and I'm fine. I think I still take Plow, so first move. So next round, or this round I'm taking a veg. Next round I'm taking Plow, so, Cow, Animal Lover, Grow with Writing Chamber, so there's no time to take Wood. little fun subplot is whether or not Fiscus build a sixth room. Builds a sixth room. Uh, 
Oh. I think I know who you are, noob sauce. I think I know who you are. How about those twins? My money would be on Joshi taking three wood. At least that's what I would do. And not go for the two wood, but go for, uh... uh I don't know. Okay, I did get who you are. Cool. Uh, yeah, not so great. They'll be fine. Their lineups are ridiculous. Oh, Joshi taking the food. Super sad, yep. I get my veg for the plow, so. I feel like uh, I've channeled your game style a lot, this game, Noob Sauce. Uh, couple of things that just like super you in, in how you do it, like that, that start player field in round 13. So, I'm feeding eight. Um, if I eat two wood and two sheep, well, the sheep are possibly two points. Uh, I could just eat a veg. So, if I eat two wood and and a veg. That's seven food plus two that I have. Okay. I don't have to eat the sheep. I can still take a cow. Oh, I have a pig. I have a pig. So that's five food I have. I need nine. Well, that sucks. Um, let's just see what happens. I breed. Ulnar. Uh, but I'm going to be growing with room in round 14 for all that was worth. Okay, cow got taken, pig got taken, plow so here, yeah I mean I just might eat a veg. So. Cow, animal lover, FG writing desk, or writing chamber, and done. Yeah. Then harvest, eat. Pig, veg, fuck. Okay. Uh, just a bit short on the food. I think I'm gonna have to eat a wood. Wood and veg or two sheep. <laughs> this is going on the outskirts. Oh, for four wood fences, yep. Yeah. Oh, an animal lover is going to cost me um, food, so. It is whatever. How many 
points as animal lover. And everyone's at five, right? So I'm going to be growing on writing chamber, last action. Hmm. Joshi went no fencing. Yep, with a free stable. I believe 11 for 3 pastures, 4 spaces is the same as 1 pasture, 6 spaces. Yeah. So, doesn't really matter. I would probably choose the. Uh, Small. Yeah, I like that. Joshi's game looks good too if he can feed. Oh, Gypsy's Croc. Pig Veg is seven food. And that's too bad. I'm like one food short of... Like almost a perfect ending. I do have to eat one point at the end. Um, so Animal Lover is minus three. Plus three, five, six. So it's a three point, it's a two point play. That's fine. You know, it's not great, but it could really be worse. Yeah, so Animal Lover next, then Writing Chamber on Family Growth to finish it out. Looking at a pretty good game. Shouldn't be worse than second here. Joshi, though, finagled his way around and I think ended with an okay score. Yeah. So he's got six, nine off board. He's already at 47. He can sew for three more, is 50. I'm at this plus. Uh, this will cancel out. Only this plus three or plus five. Well, that's not a good score at all. that. Ugh. What happened? I thought I was doing fine. Oh, plus three. So I'm at like mid 40s. That's too bad. Leave it at plus three and then <laughs> eat a wood or something. Yep. Final moves for everyone. 
Montu's going to have uh, five more than what he currently has. 40 plus whatever, 43, and then 47. I might get third. I messed up. Don't know how I messed up. This is the first game in this round, so two more games, but if I'm in third place uh, and two of us are advancing to the final, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Thirty-eight plus ten. Okay, so I end with forty-eight. <sighs> nice job by Montu to get that thing. I mean, I played Forest Clear and used it like four times. That can't be great. Fiscus taking the clay out and oh and I guess Montu must need to buy the no. Uh I don't know, did Montu renovate? I mean, it is... Okay. That's the best case scenario, it doesn't matter, because I probably should have just kept my mouth shut, but... I mean, if it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, so. So, 
So crazy that the clay supports were in the game and nobody took Renovation Company. Well, game trade's a fun thing to play here. It's uh, at least a food. Yeah, everybody getting House Steward kind of sucked for me. Nice job by Joshi. Resources in this game, so much wood. And if I guess I'm playing Forest Clear, I'd better take more wood. So I guess I tie with Montu. He's on 48 also. Fiscus on 36. Joshi with 6. Improvement points. Gonna be buying wood, reed, grain. Can eat a grain and a veg to pay for it. Just to eat a cow or something. It's gonna be close. What? We'll see what he does with his last action here. Could be too reed, too clay. Cow Prince is an occupation that gives you a point for every space on your farmyard holding a cow. Uh, we'll see how dire Joshi's food is. I'm actually not sure what he's eating. So what Joshi eats uh, really makes a difference here, because I mean he might not want to buy carrier, so I think he might have to win by a couple. Yeah, this is actually a really close game. I had to eat an extra point at the end, which really sucked. Joshi lets me have those two cows. I guess I don't know he has cow prints, but that makes it very obvious. Um, for, is the right move for him.
53. Yeah, nine off board. What are you eating? One read, five food, one veg, one grain. Yeah. All right, that'll do it for this game. Uh, I guess I could look at the draft really quickly. Uh, the power ratings aren't super official, but uh, it would be interesting to see. Uh, nice job by Montu recovering out of that hole in the beginning. Great use of the timber shingle maker. Uh, nice use of the cottager and getting to use family-friendly home, even apparently though he misread a card. Um, yeah, his farm looks pretty full. Um, um, yeah, lots of weirdness in this game. Hard to know where I went wrong. I didn't get to stone, but instead of, I built the well and the joinery. So, uh, yeah, I hogged the wood. It wasn't enough hogging. Oh well. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Uh, draft overview. Yeah, soldiers like impossible. Uh, <laughs> I was mentioning it earlier. It's the one that gives you a bonus point for every wood and stone pair in your supply at the end. Uh, okay, so that was three two nine five four three. Agricola draft. Take a look at my own decisions here. Forest Clearer, definitely the right pick, but using it like three or four times feels really bad. Lodger, the right pick, but I didn't... Well, Pet Broker, 3.4. Lodger is so tactically useful, though. When Family Growth doesn't flip five, that's going to be really necessary. Uh, returning Clay Oven early was a mistake. Oh, interesting. Uh, so, yeah, Soldier, 2.6 power, probably overplayed, or overdrafted at least. Open-air farmer's fine. Uh, yeah. House Steward is a 3, but everything else was so bad. Maybe Informant is okay. Pan Baker, 2.6. Gives you wooden clay when you so bake. Timber Shingle Maker 1.6, Animal Lover 1.4, that doesn't really make sense. Like, Animal Lover is three or four free points. Sewing Director 1.5, I like Sewing Director. Everything was bad here. I passed on those to take Lieutenant General, which has a really bad power now. Its power was fine in last tournament. Small sample size. And that didn't matter. Reed Belt is only 3.3. I thought it was like 4.8 in the last playtests. Uh, yeah, the new house goats are really bad. Chicken Coop's a 2.5. Hot is power 5. Get out of here. And part of this elephant grass rating is when the reed was 2 points each on the bonus. Food Basket, 3.2. Wood Workshop, 3.6. Gypsy's Croc, 4, <laughs> a small sample. Writing Chamber, 4, 3.8, yeah. Slurry is somehow fine. I guess it's free. Shifting Cultivation has to be better than 1.8 in reality. The fields are so bad. Um, okay. Trying to schedule next game. Baseboard's definitely the right pick, and Gypsy's cracked if it's. Can't be power five, but it's a clay for a point, so. 
All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope it was entertaining for you. I'll post this on YouTube in a bit, uh, and I'll stick around for a bit in the Twitch chat, I guess, if you want to talk. Uh, until next time, I'm glad to be back on the streaming. I'm in a new location, obviously, um, and hopefully I can bring you more videos. Also thinking about streaming different games. I've played a lot of Terra Mystica in the last year and gotten okay at it, so that'll be fun to share as well. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything specific, and I'll see you for next game, if not sooner. All right.